गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हर्ष टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्प्लीन डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ स्ली स्प्लीन राइट नाउ वी आर वट इज स्प्लीन इट इज अलिफाइड ऑर्गन विच इज रिलेटेड टू द कार्डियो वेस्कुलर सिस्टम ब्लड एक्चुअली इट इज रिलेटेड टू ब्लड राइट सो नाउ सो इट इज अ वेज शेप्ड ऑर्गन एज इट इज विजिबल इट्स अ वेज शेप्ड ऑर्गन राइट मेजरमेंट्स अबाउट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर द इवन नंबर्स वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन इलेवन Now what are these? These are its measurements, even numbers. It is one inch thick, three inch broad, and five inch long. One three five. Then seven means it has seven ounces in weight, and nine ten eleven is it is related with the nine to eleven ribs. So it is related with the 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 measurements of the spleen. They are related with the. Even numbers one three five seven nine eleven one one inch thick three inch wide five inch long seven ounces in weight and it is related to nine to eleven ribs right now let's discuss the, its anatomical position and its border surfaces now spleen as we know it is the organ which lies on the left side it occupies mainly the left hypochondrium and uh, epigastric region so we have to place our hand also tilted like this so we place the spleen on to our left hand and it's it, is it it it's its anatomical position right now i am tell you why this is so so it has to know its anatomical position we have to discuss first its border surfaces ends right angles now it has two ends anterior and posterior end it has three borders upper middle and lower or superior intermediate and inferior border three borders baki sare cheeze do do hain two ends or two ends or two poles three borders two poles two surfaces two angles and one is hilum two surfaces means one is the costal surface diaphragmatic surface and one is the visceral surface visceral surface is related with the visceras and the diaphragmatic or the costal is related with the diaphragm and the costal cartilage is or ribs right so this is the costal surface is convex and the visceral surface is concave right so we have to put the convex surface or visceral or costal surface or diaphragmatic surface on to our hand right we have to place our hand like this towards the left so we have to place this right now surface is clear position is clear likewise कोस्टल सर्फेस हमने हाथ पे रख लेना है एंड विसरल टर्फ सर्फेस टुवर्ड्स द मिड लाइन ऑफ द बॉडी राइट बिकॉज इट इज रिलेटेड टू द विसरास सो इट शुड बी टुवर्ड्स द मीडियल साइड राइट नाउ वी हैव टू एंड्स एंटीरियर एंड पोस्टीरियर एंड नाउ वी हैव टू डिफ्रेंशिएट वाई दिस वन इज एंटीरियर एंड वाई दिस वन इज पोस्टीरियर एंड एंटीरियर एंड इज एक्चुअली शार्प एंड इज मोर लाइक अ बॉर्डर पोस्टीरियर एंड इज राउंडेड बट इट मे वेरी इन ऑल द स्प्लीस ए लॉट ऑफ वेरिएशन इज are seen in this spleen this is the only organ which comes with a lot of variations in its borders and surfaces no other organ has so many variations right so it is important to to discuss its ends anterior end is prominent posterior end is rounded but it can be vice versa aage wala bhi round ho sakta hai piche ka bhi ho sakta hai right now what is important here to note this is the superior border this is intermediate border this is inferior border right how we will differentiate this is superior and this is inferior so superior border is actually notched right towards its anterior end the notch is not that visible this is the notch notch is not that visible in this specimen i will show you the second specimen this one right this is notch इधर कोई नॉच नहीं है इंफीरियर पे सो दिस इज नॉच सरफेस सो दिस इज इंटीरियर बॉर्डर राइट सो दिस इज सुपीरियर बॉर्डर इंटरमीडिएट देन वी हैव इंफीरियर बॉर्डर सो नॉच इज टूवर्ड्स द एंटीरियर एंड राइट द एंटीरियर एंड बट एज वी आर सीइंग इन दिस स्पेसमेन आल्सो इट इज मोर और लेस इन 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 द सेंटर राइट so there are variation in every spleen so you have to note the notch is towards the anterior end so what is the main difference we have to look for the surfaces visceral surface then this is the superior border this is middle and this is inferior border 
एज वी नो यहाँ पे दिस सर्फेस इज रिलेटेड विद द स्टमक सो हेयर वी हैव अ गैस्ट्रिक इंप्रेशन स्टमक विल बी प्लेस्ड हेयर तो दिस सर्फेस विल बी मोर डिप्रेस्ड दैन द इन्फीरियर सर्फेस इन्फीरियर सर्फेस इज रिलेटेड विद द किडनी यहाँ पे किडनी पड़ी होती है तो इट इज़ नॉट दैट डिप्रेस्ड एज कम्पेयर टू सुपीरियर सर्फेस सो वी कैन कन्फर्म बाई दिस सर्फेस बाई द नॉच दैट दिस इज द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर सो सुपीरियर बॉर्डर इज नॉ इज नॉस्ड नियर द एंटीरियर एंड सो वी कैन लाइक वाइज मैंशन विच वन इज द एंटीरियर एंड विच वन इज द सुपीरियर बॉर्डर If notch is not clear, if it is in the center or it is towards the posterior end, then we will look for the this surface, visceral surface, right? So this surface is more depressed than the inferior surface because stomach gastric impression lies here, right? Now, so we have finished two ends, anterior and posterior end. Three borders: superior, middle, and intermediate. Superior end is notched towards the anterior generally it is it has one notch but in this spleen we have two notches c1 2 right so there are variations in every spleen you see either it's in the notch either it's in the ends right so you have to look into all the factors you have to look for the ends you have to look for the notch you have to look for this gastric impression this surface of where the gastric impression lies so totally we will consider that right so how we will place the anterior end will be directed downwards and laterally so we have to place the hand like this agar hum aise dekhe to anterior end will be directed downwards and laterally so obviously the posterior end is directed backwards and medially right so we have to spleen, place spleen like this and this is its anatomical position right now it has two angles one is the anterior basal angle one is the posterior basal angle anterior basal angle is which the superior superior border makes with the anterior end so this is anterior basal angle right this is posterior basal angle the posterior angle basal angle is the angle which is made by the inferior border with the anterior end this is posterior basal angle anterior basal angle is superior border with the anterior end it is also called clinical angle of the spleen anterior basal angle during spl splenomegaly likewise hepatomegaly when the where the liver is enlarged likewise there is splenomegaly where the spleen is enlarged this end this angle or this is enlarged and is palpated below the costal margins right so we can palpate the anterior angle normally spleen is also not palpable like liver during the abnormal conditions when the spleen is enlarged like splenomegaly we can palpate the spleen right now so this is all about the border and surfaces now come to the relations relations are peritoneal relations and visceral relations Let's start with the peritoneal relations. Peritoneal relations, we have three ligaments here. One is gastrosplenic, one is lino-renal, then we have phrenico-colic, right? First, we will discuss the gastrosplenic. As the name suggests, gastrosplenic. So this is the hilum. Intermediate border is occupied by the hilum. So hilum has what vessels, splenic vessels and nerves, also lymphatics and fat, right? So. and ligaments are also attached at the hilum so gastrosplenic means it the ligament which is attached at the hilum of the spleen, uh, spleen and the other end is attached to the gastrosplenic means gastric means stomach so fundus of the stomach greater curvature not the fundus greater curvature of the stomach that is gastrosplenic ligament second one is lino renal ligament lino is for spleen so hilum of the spleen and renal means kidney anterior surface of kidney so both these are connected with the the name suggesting the organs lino renal means spleen se kidney ki taraf gastrosplenic means stomach se spleen ki taraf then third one is phrenico colic so it has no direct attachment on the spleen phrenico colic as the name suggests phrenico colic it is actually a fold of peritoneum which supports the anterior surface of the spleen it supports the spleen from the anterior end so ye kahan kahan attach hai phrenico colic right phrenic means diaphragm colic means splenic fracture of the colon say it is attached to the other end to the diaphragm opposite the 10th rib in the mid axillary line so it supports the anterior end of the spleen indirectly right so it is not a direct attachment it has no direct attachment on the spleen now visceral relations visceral relations as i already suggest uh, tell you told you people towards the left side lies on the left side so yahan pe kya aa gaya hamara gastric impression right 
here we have colic impression here we have pancreatic tail of pancreas is attached here here we have renal impression left kidney left renal impression and here we have supra renal impression so jo jo organs jahan jahan pade hain usse usse hisab se relations hai first we have a gastric impression right here we have colic impression colic ke just medially we have pancreatic or tail of pancreas is attached here here we have renal impression on the lower surface right and here we have supra renal impression as, as concerned the blood supply splenic artery which is a branch of celiac trunk which i already discussed in my previous videos then we have veins splenic vein right so this is all about the border surfaces angles anatomical position of the spleen thank you very much students all the best